So as it turns out, they weren't royalty after all. It was all one big email scam. <laughs> why I'm not allowed in charge of the town treasury anymore. <laughs> but I didn't call him here to tell you that. Welcome, councillor, vicar. Welcome to this meeting. As you know, I am the mayor of this small, unnamed British village. And it's my duty, nay, privilege, to oversee the execution and preparation every year of the annual village beauty pageant. Ah, uh, the annual village beauty pageant. The one day of the year I can look at Mrs. Baker without the use of my binoculars. Ah, <laughs> oh, blessed it be this most holy and sacred time of year. Apart from, you know, Christmas and Easter and Shrove Tuesday. It's Pancake Day. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yes, I look forward to the pageant too. It's the only day of the year I look forward to more than my annual taste testing at the village bakery. Ah, uh, Shrove Tuesday. And <laughs> Bridgewell. I'm afraid, though, this year, gentlemen, we shall have to make some adjustments. Adjustments? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> Surely you're not thinking of cancelling my Tina Turner tribute from the internet? <laughs> no, 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 Councillor, don't you worry. Your version of Proud Mary is far too good. <laughs> it's very good, very good. Cool. Yes. No. We well, see, Recently, there has been a trend of focus on the attention of women's rights. Yeah. Because things that uh, were acceptable back in the day are somewhat frowned upon in modern society. Cat calling, wolf whistling, chasing a woman down the street because she refuses to give you her email address. Honestly, you make one mistake and it haunts you the rest of your life! So this year, I want the pageant to be the most feminist, woman-friendly show this village has ever seen. And I can think of no more appropriate group of people to make that happen than this room, right here, filled entirely with men. <laughs> so, I propose that we go through the planned agenda of the show and make sure we remove anything that might cause offence. So, go to my vicar, the first item of business on the show. Item number one, the bikini contest. Mm, that seems rather objectifying to me. Uh, 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 but, but think about it. Um, it shows that the women are, are strong and um, resilient to wear bikinis outdoors in November. <laughs> I think that's pretty empowering, don't you? The interesting point. Yes. What say you, Vicar? Oh, um, well, think of the bikinis, Vicar, the bikinis! <laughs> I speak for both myself and God when I say that this is totally and utterly fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. If God's okay with it, I suppose it's been staying. What's next, Vicar? Oh, a new innovation for this year. Item number two, the mud wrestling round. Mud wrestling? Councillor, do you have any idea who came up with such a ridiculous suggestion? <laughs> Could have been anyone. Could have been anyone to come up with such a fantastic idea. It wasn't me. It definitely wasn't me. Well, whoever we promised. They clearly don't understand the image we're trying to present with this year's pageant. This, this can't stay, it's simply Ah, uh, okay, okay, but think about it. Mud wrestling is a chance for that's very loud. Uh, mud wrestling is a chance for women to experience the usually male-only sport of wrestling. What is that I hear? Oh, it sounds like the glass ceiling being shattered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced. Vicar, back me up here. Oh well, um, it clearly states in the book of um. Kenneth, that, um, <laughs> that when ladies do F, uh, wrestle with yes. thine others, mm. it shall F only be done in thy finest of lingerie mm. and in the most sacred and holy of, um, mud. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, still doesn't sit entirely right with me. But I suppose these feminist ideas are going to be brave and interesting at first. Yes, so of course. Yes. Let's keep it. Seems like the show's running a bit long at this point. Is there nothing you look at? Well, there is that fully clothed debating segment. <laughs> Seems a bit backwards to get rid of that. <laughs> ah, but if you think about it, what are women always complaining about? Men talking over them. If they're not allowed to talk, men can't talk over them. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I 
I can't believe I didn't see that before. <laughs> get rid of it, get rid of it. You can't say it, it simply doesn't fit. Yeah. Come next year, this liberal minded fool will let us fill the pageant with nothing but mud and bikinis. Amen to that, my friend. <laughs> well, I'm just about done it, I think, chaps. An excellent job. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to include your names in the program so everyone knows how open minded and forward thinking you are. It is a pleasure, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> hmm. On second thought, perhaps I should give it to an actual woman to have a look at first. What about your darling wife, Mr. Mayor? Mm, I was thinking I might give it to my teenage daughter to have a look at. Those have opinions! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my friend, it's not over yet. Yes, yes, she's just come back from a Green Party conference in Brighton. <laughs> oh, shit. 